Stand right there, it looks like. That's awesome. What's up guys? So me and Daniel's out today. We got some time, we're gonna go out and Right now we're actually gonna be shooting our guns, sighting them into these rounds we reloaded the other day. If you've been following our Instagram, you would have noticed we, we did some reloading for some 243 rounds. And we're gonna sight them in right now. We actually got a target set up just right over here. At 100 yards, so get that, we're gonna get sighted in and then we're gonna go see if we can go find some rock chucks to try them out on. Dan's got a, a new 243 that was just given to him. So it's still kind of new to us. We're gonna play around with that a little bit. Here's the rounds we're gonna be shooting. If you missed it from our Instagram, these are 55 grain. Oh, well, I can't grab them and pull them out, but 55 grain, 243 caliber. Pretty small little guys, but it's gonna be our varmint load. See how they do. All right, so Daniel just took three shots out of his 243 down there. Oh, you can see the dog is looking really good. So we'll go ahead and zoom in, see if we can see it from here. It's kind of hard to hold it steady with, I'm not using the tripod right at the minute, but. They're all right there in the center. All right, well, I just got done taking my three shots. So we're gonna walk up here and take a look at the target. My grouping looked pretty good, so won't have too much adjusting on mine. Not Daniel, I don't think he's gonna have any adjusting on his. His looked really great. Well, there it is. Those three in the center is Daniel's first three, and then those three on the top are mine. This would've been my first, second, third shot. So I'll do a little bit of adjusting with down, and maybe an inch to the right. But that looks pretty good. All right, so gonna make these adjustments on Chris's gun and shoot a couple more. And we should be out of here. All right, so we're gonna make an inch to adjustment to the right. So it's gonna be four clicks. Four. And then we're gonna do two, an inch, two inches down, so it's gonna be eight clicks. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. All right. Let's see how it does. Take a look. All right. The second one was dead even. Yeah, but still to the left. Yeah. Those three were mine touching the green. That one was Just yours. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I know I was in this one right here. So that first one might have just been... Yeah, must have just been off or something. Oh, shot. But that, the other one's dead. And that's like where it should have been what, in the first set of adjustments. Yeah.
Yeah, two inches puts it right, right there. Maybe I'll just do half an inch to the right and then call that good. All right, guys. Well, we just got up to the dirt road. On the way out here, actually, it ended up raining as we were headed up on this road, and it's pretty overcast at the moment. So we're kind of hoping that this will kind of blow away and the weather will get a little bit, a little more sunny and bright and warm because it's not very, it's only 50 degrees outside right now. So with the sun not being out, we might not see any rock chucks and that's, that's what we're hoping for today, see some rock chucks out in all this lava rock country. So stay tuned and let's see if the sun comes back out. All right guys, so we just came across our first little group of rock chucks. Zoom in for you. It gets adjusted so it's not moving too bad. Alright, so what the plan is, we're both going to try to get set up to take a shot. Don't know if we're going to have enough time to do this, so let's see if we can get it done. Sorry, I think I <laughs> that's alright, but I think you hit it. I think I did. <laughs> I don't know if I if I did or or not, but is there another one on that rock up there? Yeah. Give him a minute. Get ready. Get on him. I'll get the camera. Oh, there's another one back on top of the hill. Of where we just shot at that one. Are you gonna shoot at him? Yeah. You ready? Yep. Nope. Missed him. He just jumped to the right. He's still on that rock. You can still shoot at him? Yeah. Oh, he's moving a little. Oh, he moved. You were high. High? Yeah, because I didn't see any. Oh, back down. There's another one back up. He's on the other. He's on the right side now. Over here? Yeah, he's he's just to the right where he was. I don't see him. He's moving? No, he's stand he's just standing there. I see the one moving. See the one standing? You could shoot at him. The, the first two we shot at just to the right. Oh shit, I'm down this pile. Oh yeah, I see that one. Is he still there? Yep. Oh, it's still Got him. Blew him to smithereens. I just ain't the So, see this one? Oh, up yeah, there? yeah, I see him. He's up on that rock. Back facing us. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Got him. <laughs> oh, 
That was a good shot. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go up there and take a look at these three that we just had shot at. It's starting to hail and actually rain, if you can't tell. What that smell reminds me of? What's that? Elk hunting. Yeah. Like that rain. Yep. I know, it smells good. And especially, you know, we're walking to the sage brush and it's like... Hey, we gotta remember exactly where these were. The little ones on the right side. The ones on that rock. Mine should top. be yeah, on the top up there. Yeah. I know that scenery always changes. You know for a fact these are just dead though. Well, Dang, this... there he is. Yeah. Yeah, those rounds, 55 grain, 243. They don't mess around, man. That's kind of nasty. Bloom literally just wide open. Yeah. So. Second spot now. If you look right down in there. You can see that there. So I can get this to focus in. Yeah. There's there's one right there. Oh, right. And one right up here. Blown wide open. These rounds, they do pretty darn good. Where's the next one? Right, right here on top of the pile. Oh yeah. I think that'd have been the first one I shot at. Went it have? Yeah. He looked like the bigger gray one. High points where these guys like to be. They can see a long ways away. Dang. That guy. That thing is, that's a good size one. Pretty heavy. Yeah, he looks heavy. Pounds, maybe? Should have brought her scale to see exactly what he weighs because. It's been a while since I've seen one that good, that size. Yeah. The other one wasn't nearly this big. No. All right, here's a comparison to kind of show you how the difference of size of that one compared to this other one. Much bigger, obviously. They seem like they normally kind of get this grayer coat when they're older. They start getting older. I'm loving those rounds so much now. They freaking do some damage. It's like a different realm when you start going from the 17 to this kind of stuff. It's like, it's still such a massive jump, but it felt like it wouldn't have been a huge jump, I guess. I don't know, like, Yeah. obviously it's a lot bigger, but the way it just hit it, Made sure to bring some of this elk jerky that I dehydrated about two days ago. What do you think, Dan? Turned out really good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think so too. Made a spicy batch and half a sweet batch. Sweet batch just has basically some cinnamon sugar or brown sugar in it, so it made it a little sweeter. But yeah, yeah, the spicy ones really good. Yeah, real simple. Dehydrator makes it really easy and real quick. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, elk from our good snack. Our year last year, so Yeah, that was our two thousand eighteen bull elk. Yeah. It's always nice when you can 
be out doing this and and eat the snacks that you know you put in the work to get. Yeah, when I was in the enjoy it. when we were at the the gas station, I went in to get some snacks and I looked at the jerky and I was like, I don't have to bring any, obviously, because I I brought some of the elk stuff I yeah. made the day before. I was like, that was cool. It's a cool feeling. It is. It always tastes better when you know that you did the the work. Yeah. You did it, so for sure. So. So this is kind of really weird, but we're way on this back road, and we noticed that there's people out here just on the side of the road wearing like neon shirts and stuff, leaving blue containers out here. It's like the third one we've seen. Not sure what's going on, but we're about to find out. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Awesome. Well, we didn't find that much there, but <laughs> we did pass on by. <laughs> Should I have stopped? <laughs> no, I thought you just kept going. Well, when you said something about the Seuss camp, I bet you exactly that's yeah, that's what it is. That's kind of what I'm thinking it is. I think those two people were kind of like the guides yeah. for those group because they were pretty young. I noticed yeah, they the were, kids. A lot of the a lot of them were younger. And so, yeah, probably would answer our question. Answer our question. But it yeah. was a little weird at first. It was. was like in the middle of the road. We were just like, what the heck are they doing? They're all of them wearing neon stuff. And one person with like a really dark clothing and the big old <laughs> like big frame old pack, backpack on. Frame pack that's just holding like tons of crap. You can't see what it is from a distance. We're like, what the heck is going on? Just standing in the middle of the road down there. But we're like, well, we got guns, so. Yeah. What do we got to worry about? Yeah, we have nothing to worry about, so. <laughs> yeah. It's like, we'll just drive on by. So this Zeus camp, what it used to be down here is a pretty much. I guess what would you call it uh, an area where a lot of younger discipline underage kids would go to like a little camp that helps I guess yeah discipline kids kids that are getting into a lot of trouble and the parents can't really control them and so where they send them to these camps to like a like a almost like a military camp boot camp yeah type thing so what essentially I guess that's that's what that is we know that's used to be one of those down here about probably like, what maybe five miles south of where we're at right this moment but yeah. maybe maybe that's what it is has something to do with that yeah it looks like they're just hiking in here and Show sleeping they had bit. sleeping bags the terrain we're at really deserty stuff out here so i think the idea is a lot of these kids when they go out to these camps they don't know where they're at and there's no way they're going to try to run off without knowing where they're at in this kind of terrain so makes sense There's two more up there. Get them. Oh, just to the left. Oh, they're both up. Well, as we're walking up on this spot, we want to go check out this one we shot at. As we're walking up down, it's like we spotted one out, and so I hurry up and scrub the gun with the right hand and shot the head. I got him. He pretty much just gone. I can see the right hand. Maybe I have two down here. Okay. Check out this little berry. 
bat patch we found. I'm not sure exactly what type of berries these are, but it's kind of cool. Some wild berries. Well, we found where one was definitely at least hit. He obviously was still able to crawl enough and crawled right under that rock and in that hole, so won't be able to see him. It's too bad because this one was really gray. It was looked old. I wanted to see how big it was. You see it? All right guys, well, we're calling it a wrap for the day. We just about got back to some gravel road. We're getting off the dirt and we're pretty happy with how the day turned out. You know, from the beginning, we went and got these these rounds sighted into our guns for the first time today. If, you, if you've been following our Instagram, you would've saw that we've been actually reloading these rounds the last couple days and we're hoping to get out a couple days ago, but it's been so dang windy where we <laughs> live. It's, shoot, it's been hard to have decent enough weather and even today it wasn't super great, but we made the best of what we had and yeah we did heck we went down to the shooting range and got them sighted in really quickly and that that was pretty dang simple and yeah we were really pretty impressed with how they performed at the range yeah they were Dude, when, I, when i shot them at my 243 we didn't even have to move, move yeah he, scope he nothing, shot three so. rounds and they all three was literally right almost in the center it was like kind of unbelievable when you reload rounds that that happens <laughs> your yeah. first three shots but so that was really cool then i shot mine had to make a little bit of adjustments and got that set up and shoot, came out here. On the way out here, I, I think you would have saw earlier that it was starting to rain and shoot, we were kind of thinking with the sun being out, not being out, the, the rock tricks would have been hidden and whatnot, but come around a few bends and they were, they were sure enough, a few of them out. And the first pile we got to, gosh, there was like, saw <laughs> one of them, got out, shot those first two, got one of them, and then ended up getting two more after that. And heck, that was a good start to the day. Yeah, they, they didn't seem like they've been seeing a lot of people because those two sat out on that rock. Yeah. Enough time for us to set up the camera. Both of us get set up and we're able to both take a shot at the same time. Yep. So that, that normally doesn't happen very often. But. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that was cool. It's pretty fun when you actually have a chance to do that. Yeah. And then, yeah, you know, went out, kept going and found a few more to shoot at and ended up hitting a couple of them and wasn't able to get them on the actual video, but we, we definitely could see that we got a couple of them and... Pretty happy with how it turned out. Yeah, those those rounds were pretty impressive, 55 grain. So yeah. they, they move fast and pretty accurate, so we'll definitely be using those in the future. Yeah, what we really want to do is we're excited to try those out on the coyotes to come this coyote season. And we're hoping they're going to be pretty fur-friendly as well. Yeah, so. yeah, that's another good point to make out is they're going to make a small hole, so be really great for the furs. Yeah. So yeah, we just want to say thanks for following us. If you've been following through the rest of this video all at this point, you know, thanks. We appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video and make sure you go follow us on Instagram at 28 Game Chasers. And then yeah, be ready for our next bit of content to come out. Yeah, thanks guys. Till next time.